With over 225 million users, LinkedIn has absolutely taken off and re-energized as a social and content platform in the last two years. And since joining the platform, I found it incredibly valuable to my career and entrepreneurial journey through connections, content, and communication. If you're new to the platform, it can be a bit overwhelming since there are a lot of features and certainly a lot more to unpack than any other social media platform. So today we're gonna go over nine simple steps to properly configure your LinkedIn profile file to maximize it for networking success and career opportunities. We're going to dive straight into my computer in just a second so I can show you the screencast. But before we do, make sure you stick around and watch all the way into the end of this video to get special access to a free resource that I've created. It's an entire checklist called the LinkedIn Manifesto. It has five bonus steps that you need to know to set up your LinkedIn profile for success. So make sure you stick around and get access to that and let's get started. The first step to properly configure your LinkedIn profile is number one, upload a headshot photo. Typically people think of a portrait image as simply a professional headshot, but for LinkedIn, you want to take that a step further. You want people to feel a certain way when they see you in your picture. What is one word, one feeling that you want associated with your name? Trust, sincerity, professionality, convey that in how you portray yourself. After all, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. Here are a few tips to keep in mind for your profile photo. Number one, choose a photo that looks like you. Make sure you put your face in the center of the frame, dress and act like you were at work. Avoid doing anything that you typically wouldn't do in an office environment, such as holding a red solo cup while wearing a lampshade on your head. Number four is choose a non-distracting background. Remember, the entire goal of this profile photo is to remind viewers that there is a living, breathing person behind your online persona, one that they can trust and one that they are ultimately invited to connect with. The second way to properly configure your LinkedIn profile is to tell your story through your cover. Now, don't get overwhelmed by this step. It's pretty simple. Your cover or cover photo is that banner that viewers see at the top of your LinkedIn profile. What you don't want to do is to just pick a cover photo at random. Think about the professional story that you want to tell and then be creative with the image or illustration you choose to convey that. Here are a few ideas to consider when designing an ideal cover. Number one, you can choose to convey you at work. You can also represent your space. If you're a writer, maybe find a photo of a keyboard or a typewriter on Upsplash.com. Number three, you can feature a quote, perhaps one that signifies and represents your values or your mission. You can also be abstract in what you choose to convey. For instance, Richard Branson has a photo of the sky for his LinkedIn cover photo. Now this makes sense since he's the founder and CEO of Virgin Airlines. Feature your achievements. Tony Robbins is a great example of this. You can also choose to feature your location as well. For instance, I have seen a picture of Seattle, Washington to represent where I currently live in Washington state. The third step for properly configuring your LinkedIn profile for success is to distinguish your headline. Now you can edit this by clicking the edit button on your profile. Besides your profile photo, the 120 characters LinkedIn allows for your headline is the next important thing that potential candidates or connections see before they view your profile. Your headline should communicate your expertise, your industry, and most importantly, your uniqueness. I've actually already made a video on how to craft the perfect LinkedIn headline, which you can find right here or by checking out the links in the description below this video. But essentially, in short, there are two things to keep in mind when crafting a LinkedIn headline. To brand your headline and make it stand out, use this proven formula. Job title slash company plus keywords plus you. Your job title makes you relevant. Industry-related keywords identify your expertise and searchability on LinkedIn. And finally, what makes you unique? Why should users connect with you? Use your creative license to showcase your personality to stand out. Number two, if you're seeking employment, think about the job you want, not about the job you have. If you had five seconds to describe yourself to a new colleague, 
What would you say? What in-demand skills do you have? What separates you? What sets you apart from others with the same job title? If you're seeking new career opportunities, don't say that in your headlines. Seeking new opportunities sounds a bit desperate. In fact, you're actually better talking about what you can or have delivered. And if you're looking for new opportunities, then be sure to turn on the settings that let recruiters know that you're looking for new opportunities. This can be found on your LinkedIn profile under settings and privacy. The fourth way to properly configure your LinkedIn profile for success is to write a LinkedIn summary. So LinkedIn gives you 2000 characters to highlight your passion, your experience, and your accomplishments. Here are a couple of things to keep in mind when crafting the ideal LinkedIn summary. When you craft your LinkedIn summary, don't word it in the third person. Be normal and write like you talk, which is typically in first person. There are essentially four parts to a killer LinkedIn summary. Number one is the lead. Now, this is your hook. This is your opening line that grabs people's attention and gets them reading all the way through. Adrienne Larson has a great example of this with her opening summary line, I'm not your average editor. In fact, if you want to see more examples of great summaries, check the links in the notes in the description. I know you'll find those beneficial. Number two is the pitch. In this part, you want to elaborate on your passions, your skills, and your story. Make sure it's obvious why these things matter to you. One major trend that's kind of emerging on LinkedIn right now is for people to focus on future goals and ambitions. So consider offering kind of an audacious glimpse into your future goals, ideas, and objectives. It really helps people resonate and connect with you and know ultimately what you're after. Number three is the evidence. Prove to potential recruiters or connections that you know your industry by making your summary rich in keywords and accomplishments. Number four is the call to action. The call to action, also abbreviated as CTA, is essentially where you tell people to follow you, reach out via email or direct message, or whatever it is you want them to do after viewing your profile. For me, in my summary, this means joining my Brand Royals Facebook group, and I extend the invitation to you as well. Be sure also to include your email at the bottom of your summary so that no one's ever left wondering how to reach out to you. Check out the notes and links below this video to see some real world examples of clever and creative profile summaries. The fifth way to properly configure your LinkedIn profile to maximize it for success is to detail your work experience. This is the part where you chronicle your previous career experience and detail specifically what you did and what were the results. LinkedIn also recommends front loading your achievements and quantifying them, quantifying your achievements, quantifying your accomplishments in much detail as well. So make sure you include those up front for so it's easier to represent what you have to bring to the table and what you could potentially achieve for others. Number six is to detail your education. Your education section says a lot about you, especially to potential recruiters and former schoolmates who are looking to reconnect with you. You want to detail what your academic level is and also what kind of an education you've received and emphasize too as much as possible about what you've learned and any notable experiences associated with the process. Number seven is to detail your volunteer experience. Now you can complete this section exactly the same way as you did your work and education sections. You want to brainstorm as much as possible all the things that you've done volunteer wise that are professionally related and potentially impressive to others. For instance, I have previous experience in advanced videography and last year I volunteered to be part of a media team that traveled internationally to chronicle and document the experiences and journey of a group of diplomats from the US. So I actually volunteered to do the exact same thing this year and I'm going to be sure to include that additional media coverage media experience in my profile when the time comes the eighth step to properly configure your LinkedIn profile is to add relevant skills on LinkedIn you can add up to 50 skills to your profile and people in your network can validate them by what's called endorsing a skill or endorsing you according to LinkedIn people who have at least five skills on their profiles receive up to 17 times more profile views and there's also evidence that the more you have the higher you'll rank in search results and the more others will be able to understand your specific strengths and match you with the right opportunities the ninth and and final step to maximize success on LinkedIn in configuring your profile is to give endorsements and recommendations. 
Endorsements and recommendations are perhaps the most persuasive pieces of content that you can have on your LinkedIn profile. If you've connected with someone that you know on the platform, you know of their skills and their talents and their abilities, give them an endorsement for their skills. Who knows? They might give you one back as well. The same goes for recommendations. Recommendations are kind of like the modern equivalent of letters of reference. And more importantly, they're a, a review of you as a professional. As I mentioned with endorsements, write recommendations for friends that you know freely and also be bold about asking for friends to return the favor. You can find the buttons for requesting and writing a recommendation by going to your contacts or connections profile page and clicking the white more button next to message. Number 10 and a real quick bonus tip is to check your profile level located on your profile page. So ideally, you wanna have it at the all-star status, which usually is achieved when you've completed setting up your entire profile and implementing what we've discussed in today's video. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hey, if you're interested in learning more about some more in-depth optimizations that you can make to your profile, to have more of a LinkedIn influence, then be sure to subscribe to this channel for future content like this every single week. Also, like I mentioned earlier, for those of you who are still watching, be sure to grab the LinkedIn manifesto located in the description below. There's a few extra tips and tricks such as sharing your interests, messaging others without first connecting, making your socials visible, or editing your LinkedIn URL to increase the chance of you ranking higher, and several other bonus steps that I didn't mention in this video, so be sure to check out that free resource in the description below. If this video was helpful to you and of value, make sure you comment down below what your biggest takeaway was from this. Speaking of comments, I can't forget to thank our comment of the week from John. Guys, just in general, I truly do appreciate your comments because I'm just so grateful. Listen, I know there's so much content out there on the internet. There's a lot of other channels that you could be watching. So thank you for choosing to be here right now. I hope this video truly was of value to you. I hope it gets you set up in starting or continuing your LinkedIn journey wherever you are in the process. I know it absolutely will help you if you follow these steps. So that being said, thanks guys so much for watching. And as always, we'll talk next time. Take care.